Hey guys, what's up? Tyler here with T-Game and Tech, and today I'm going to be going over the iPad app, Notability HD. And Notability is another note-taking app for the iPad. And before I preview Pen Ultimate, and you can watch that video right here, and but today I'm going to be going over Notability. And some people said Notability is better, or Pen Ultimate is better, so we're just going to take a look at this app, and then we're going to talk a little bit about the differences and compare them toward the end of the video. So let's just get started and open up the app. And it's kind of set up a little bit different than uh, Pen Ultimate. In Pen, Pen Ultimate, you have your different notebooks kind of laid out before you. But these are your notebooks are kind of here on the side, and they're labeled different colors. And you actually get this welcome notebook, kind of like Pen Ultimate, and you can open up, and it just gives you a little bit, a little tour of how things work. So we're just going to go through a little bit right here. Right up here is your toolbar. You can go back to the library. You can choose your destination of emailing stuff, uploading it to Dropbox or iTunes or um, iDisk or anything like that. You can actually put your own personal recordings in inside of your notes. Um, your undo and redo buttons. You have your text button if you want to type somewhere. Your pencil button, your eraser, um, your paper, paper style and paper color. And you can search inside of your notes. And this takes away the toolbar. Now on the bottom you have places you can enter photos, handwriting, web clips, figures, take photos. I really haven't gotten used to this much yet. I still need to work on that a little bit more. Um, right here it locks your keyboard. Brings your keyboard up and right here that's more keyboard stuff that pops up and just more customization. Let's bring that back down and you can hide this one also by pressing down here. So we're just going to go through this really quick. Um, Notability is our favorite note taker and we hope it's your favorite too. So you can sign your copy with your finger or however you want to. Make sure the pencil is selected up here and I'm just going to write my name. It's really bad but it's okay. So you can write, type, record, organize your notes. Use two fingers to scroll. This is something different than in Pen Ultimate. In Pen Ultimate you just take the bottom page, bottom corner of your iPad and switch to go to different pages but in this app you use two fingers to scroll to the next page so you can also pick your favorite paper like I showed you earlier and you can erase using the eraser so we're going to zoom out a little bit more and we're going to hit the eraser up here and the way the eraser works in this app is it kind of if you drag over a certain part it's going to erase that certain part you don't have to click on everything so as you see I just drug straight up but it erases um, whatever is connected to those lines. So if I erase, if I go like that, and you, it was going to erase that whole um, bubble. I won't have to drag around, drag around to erase the whole thing. Um, you can also zoom in to read small stuff. This is really small text right here. Um, you can't see it just for the normal eye. So it actually comes with this zoom feature where you can zoom in, and you can zoom in your text. And this is the circle up here. You can drag this around to zoom in wherever you want. It's the zoomed in version is right down here. So the zoomed in thing we want to read is right here. And it says, hi from Ginger Labs. So that was a nice little message they had there for us. Um, so you can go to the library and start writing your own notes. Um, there's also other guides and instructions um, on the main page. But it's really kind of self-explanatory stuff. What I did is made another review page like I did with Pen Ultimate. And it says, look, I can type. Nice. And these are all just your different um, different versions of your different um, widths of your pen or your pencil. And these are your different colors. I just that's to show the white. Um, these are all your different colors that are available. So you do have a lot of different colors. And these these are actually your highlights. So you can actually use a highlighter. Um, right here I typed down here. I typed you can also highlight text. How convenient. Um, so the highlighter is really cool. You can highlight your text or highlight whatever you want. Um, if you do use the highlighter enough though, you can see that it actually does layer and get um, thick enough where you kind of block out your text. So you can also change font. As you can see, I have a very fancy font down there. It's very customizable. Um, you can have almost anything you want. You can put in your own recordings. Um, and it's really, it's just really neat. One other neat thing is that it has a palm rest guard. 
So you can drag this up, you can rest your palm, and you can just write on here or whatever, and nothing will happen down here. So that's really cool if you lean your arm on here while you're actually writing, um, either with a stylus or with your hand. So we're just going to undo that. So now that we just went over some of the basics of this app, um, what do I like better about it or what don't I like about it? I don't really like this whole two-finger swipe to get to the next page. I don't really like that at all. Um, I'd much rather flip over here in the corner or something to get to the next page. Um, but I do love the con customization of this app a lot better than Pen Ultimate. Um, one thing, though, is when you pick your paper style, this lasts throughout the whole notebook. You can't change it from page to page like you can with the Ultimate, Pen Ultimate, with the new up update in that app. Um, but if you go to the library, um, this is your notebook. And inside, you can create kind of like mini notebooks. So if I wanted to write a new notebook, that's my wonderful note. Now that's inside here. So for example, if you're doing a class, say this is math class, you could have math notes for this day, and then next day, this day, or divide up in chapters, however you want. So once again, it's really customizable. And so there's more selection in this app. But I think I might like the setup in Penultimate better, just the way things are set up. Um, the switching between pages and pen ultimate does have copy and paste I haven't seen copy and paste in this app yet I've used it a pretty good bit but I, there's probably some things I still haven't figured out but I really do think um, in terms of customizing this app definitely wins maybe in terms of some other things like cut copy and paste or um, customizing the page type and the paper type for each page I'd say pen ultimate's a little bit better but overall I think this is a great app um, I'm going to be using it a little more than Penultimate just to get a feel of how I like it. And if you guys like this video and you're interested in this app, just go ahead and um, thumbs up this video. Comment below saying whether you're going to get it or not. Right now it's 99 cents in the App Store. And so if you really want to pick it up, I'd suggest picking it up now before it gets more expensive. But other than that, thank you guys for watching this video and stay tuned for more.